Four star 2018 quarterback Matt Corral of Long Beach Poly in California has decided where he'll be playing his college ball. The signal caller, who was a Florida verbal commitment since July, announced on Thursday evening that he is now committed to Ole Miss. December 20th, C O M M I T T E D H T T P S T Co Y 1 Z Z 8 K 9 3 L Pick. Twitter, com, 507UX, goal 3MATTYICE, at Corral underscore Matt, December 15, 2017. The news comes as a bit of a surprise. But given the coaching change Florida went through in hiring Dan Mullen, this was an obvious possibility. Now, Florida's 2018 class is without a quarterback which means Mullen and his staff will have to make it a priority to fill that void with the early signing period coming next week. For Ole Miss, this is huge, and Corral could end up playing in Oxford immediately, thanks to the departure of former five-star QB Shea Patterson, who announced his transfer to Michigan earlier this week. Here's Red Cup Rebellion on the commitment. This commitment is monumental for several reasons. One. A four-star Elite 11 finalist in U.S. Army All-American has decided to look past all the recent distractions and bad news and has seemingly decided to take it upon himself to lead this 2018 class and rebuild a tarnished image that it has been slandered by almost everyone. 2. It shows that Matt Luke and his staff are out for blood now and will stop at nothing to sign some players to get this back to where it was in 2015 when they were hoisting hardware in the Superdome. And 3. Mullen went in home with his new offensive coordinator Brian Johnson and threw up a Hail Mary and Corral still chose the Rebels. And here's Alligator Army's take on the situation. It is the most significant possible loss for Florida's class which coalesced around Corral's commitment in the wake of the Gators' Friday Night Lights camp in July. Corral was the highest-rated quarterback to commit to the Gators since at least Jeff Driscoll. Corral had been vocal about his desire to stick with Florida all fall through a disaster season. For the Gators that involved rumors about the job status of the coach and offensive coordinator that convinced him to choose the Gators and then the firing of that coach. But Mullen pursued Georgia commit Justin Fields and widened Florida's net at quarterback. Immediately upon taking the head job at Florida and while he may have made traction with one of the 2018 class most inscrutable recruits, Corral appeared on social media to be uncomfortable with that move. That discomfort may have helped spur an interest in Ole Miss, which got Corral to campus last weekend sparking more rumors about an impending flip. Corral was being recruited by a number of SEC schools, including Florida, Georgia, Alabama, and the ACC's Miami. Prior to committing to Florida, he was a longtime USC commit until this past June. Corral has a strong arm, and his stock grew higher after the Elite 11 and opening finals. This ISNT a comparison of the two because it wouldn't be fair to Corral, but he plays the game in a style similar to Brett Favors. Corral thinks he can make just about every throw on the field, and he's often right. He's a good athlete even though he's not a run-first type, and he's not afraid to sling the ball virtually anywhere. Corral's commitment, along with his skill set, probably will make Ole Miss fans feel a whole lot better about their quarterback situation heading into the 2018 season.